What is going on lads and welcome back finally to another episode of my trading to team of the year Ronaldo. But before we get into this episode guys, let's smash 70 plus likes and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. But we have not had an episode out in so long but you can see right now let's just talk about a few of these deals. Basically we made about 20,000 coins off these three guys. Uh, including Gignac, CC, all the informs, and then finally Keen that we sold on. But guys, the amount of investing I do is absolutely insane this episode. So we've got the Molly Watkins to sell on. I saw this guy going for cheap. He's Italian. I picked up at least almost, well, about six, uh, six or seven of this guy for about 9,000 coins or under. But guys, if we could try and smash 70 plus likes for the insane investing and the amount of profit we're going to make off this, that would be incredible. Um, and also subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. As we are, as I'm recording this video, we might be closer now uh, as this video comes out. But I am on the halfway mark um, to 5,800 subscribers. I think we're on 5,750. So if we could hit that in the next day or two, that would just be incredible, like I say. But guys, the amount of investing I've done is just insane. Um, I'm not going to quite tell you what I've spent yet, but you guys will see in the next part. I've spent almost, not all my coins, but let's just say over two thirds of my coins, you guys will see. Yeah, you might think I'm mad, but I know for a fact that we could make over one million coins profit, which sounds crazy. Um, I do know that, but honestly, we can do that, and that's not even a lie. So I'm going to be showing you guys and talking through some of the investments I recommend you guys making. You can see right now Josh Morris, English player. Also, he's in the League 1 or League 2, which isn't too bad, especially for bronze players. And you can see he's not got too bad stats, I would say, for a bronze player. His overall stats are pretty average, I would say. Uh, so definitely someone I recommend you guys go ahead and try and pick up for investments. And you'll see later on in the video that I have, in fact, invested in a qu uh, quite a lot of that guy. And then finally, Savelli, this guy, he's very, very cheap, um, and he's got great defensive stats, even though he's very slow. So guys, even though he's not in the greatest of leagues, as you can see right now, just because of the fact he's he's not really good, um, he's going to go up a lot in price because of the fact that it will become very rare because not many people use him, people discard him for the fact that he goes for nothing. Um, and then, to be honest, he ends up with none of him on the market or getting price fixed, which is a good thing for us. And then we're going to make a ton of coins off this. And then finally, another player, Brewers. He's fantastic, the one I'm searching right now. And you can make a ton of coins off Brewers, guys. He's a fantastic player. You can see only 14,500 coins. And he's also from the Netherlands and plays in the Bundesliga 1, so the first Bundesliga. And the fact that he's so cheap and plays in that league is just great. And you can see... This Vedjinovic, uh, also a very cheap one. You can see I picked one up for 19,500 coins because he plays for Vitesse, which is a very popular team in the Netherlands League or uh, in the Dutch League. I don't know why I'm saying Netherlands League. That makes me sound like a bit of an idiot. Uh, but you can see what I did, guys, is go ahead and store these in my transfer list. That Sanker as well was converted from CM to striker. So remember, we can be, uh, make a little bit more just for the fact that he is a, convert, uh, he is a converted card. But guys, you can see right now, we have got 500,000 coins, and this isn't all I've spent. So, guys, over the last couple of days, oh, I forgot to say as well, a Verheg we picked up for 24k on the buy now, sold him for 48, doubling our coins. So, that's over a 20k profit once again, just to show you how good it is. But, guys, Bruce, he's not even 20,000 coins, he's in the Premier League. So, pick up a lot of Bruce, and you guys will be making a ton of profit off that. You can see Raphaelov, more Morrises I picked up. This Kaki, uh, he's pretty cheap, goes for pretty much nothing. And then you can see, again, uh, we've got the Tonellis and then finally Brewers. I decided to pick a ton of this guy up for 13,000 coins because I know before I've sold him off for 40-odd thousand. And when he gets price fixed, we're going to make loads off this too, you can see. Uh, we've also got some Furches because he's going to be one of those bad players that are going to end up going in price just because of the fact that he's going to be rare. Um, because of the fact that he is bad, basically. Uh, and that's a, that's a good thing. With bronzes, you can see I picked up like five Furches, I think. Uh, and then we've got the Watkins. This one will wait till he goes up. And then my Eagers. And then finally, uh, we've got also some more Vajinovic. As you can see, he's gone down ton through Team of the Year. Uh, he's like 12k right now. But don't worry, we'll wait till he goes up pl uh, past 20,000 before we sell him. And then we've also got Hemeds for less than 10,000 coins. And then we pick up an Allen, guys. So I didn't actually show this guy selling because I picked up too many informs and I couldn't store them all in my transfer list. So unless I got rid of the Allen that sold, I would have ended up having to discard a 10k inform. So I thought, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm going to go ahead and um, get rid of the Allen. I'll tell you guys exactly what he sold for. He sold for what we bought him for, so don't worry. It's not like I'm trying to cheat you guys out of anything. Like I know that he would go up even more if I wanted uh, wanted him to, but I needed some more coins and some more room to store this player. 
And rather than lose 10k by discarding an inform that I didn't want to discard, I thought I would just uh, go ahead and sell on the Allen. So we picked him up for 20 odd thousand coins. Uh, I bid it on this before I went to school, so obviously not many people are going to be on the market buying these players at this time. And you can see right now, the next cheapest on the market at the time was 42,000 coins. So I listed mine for 41,000, you'll see in a second. That resulting in almost a 17k profit, about 16k after tax. Just a little bit more, you, actually, you guys can see right now what we picked him up for. Not quite that, maybe about 13,000 coins, sorry. Uh, I thought we picked him up for 24, but you can see we picked him up for that amount. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. And as well, we uh, ended up spending another 300k on these informs, so you guys will see that in the future. But that is all I've got, and I'll see you all next time.